Hey everyone, it's Robert Earl White. I'm at my UFO crash site as a child. And as you can see, there's the bridge all the way down there. They've actually moved the barricades even farther back. So you gotta walk even further to get to the bridge and the site of the crash. It's a great view of everything. This is on the other side. This is the opposite side of the Lower Alloways Creek. My family, we lived on the other side of the bridge. Just to give you an idea, when most people hear about a UFO crash in New Jersey, they imagine it to be something like New York City or Jersey Shore. Um, if you see that farm over there, when I was a kid, they used to have a haunted house. And I was one of the actors for three years working there. It was called Scarecrow Hollow. I was one of the characters and I played a lot of cool roles, including Frankenstein because I'm six foot eight. I also played a hillbilly that lived in a shack. And the very first year I played a werewolf uh, in a cool little thing, but and this is where the UFO went down and the cloud coverage is actually really close to how the cloud coverage was on the night of the crash. It was low cloud coverage, except it was raining a little bit more. Um, it was just raining, but it's clear right now. And I thought these visuals would be great for a video, but just to show all of you how far I have to walk to get to the site of the UFO crash. They used to have barriers that went up way closer to the bridge and now they've shut it down. They keep moving the barriers back. Shortly after, maybe a year and a half after I released the UFO crash story, we noticed that the barriers kept getting pushed back more and more and more. But many locals here come fishing. It's a great fishing spot. So you can just post up on the bridge, cast your line, get a couple perch, couple catfish, whatever comes crawling up to that creek, you know they're gonna have nuclear energy in them because this creek is actually connected to the Salem County nuclear plant, which we will see soon. But I'm a pretty tall guy, I walk I walk pretty quick. I'm a fast walker. You see how long it is taking me to get to this bridge right here. You know, it's been at least a three minute walk. All the way back there, my car. And I still got another minute to go. I'm walking pretty quick. Walking pretty quick. And this is the area where the elongated triangular craft exploded, which the men in black and government officials from Dover Air Force Base came and tried to cover it all up. Just started raining. Listen. Now, imagine this environment. You see no street lights. No street lights whatsoever. There are no street lights. My family lived on the other side of that bridge there. It was April 21st, 1991 at 10, 18 PM. My family witnessed a triangular craft explode right in the area where I'm walking to now. You can see that tree line off in the distance on the other side of that bridge, my house was on the other side of that tree line there. And um, a lot of foxtails. I see a car all the way down there. Hope they're not coming down here all the way. I just want to take a walk. And as I mentioned, this area right over there, center of the screen, that whole area, 
that's where the the craft crashed. It was above the creek. The creek here. You can see the nuclear plant. Which this creek is actually attached to. That wood line there. If you go beyond that wood line. That's where my family lived. My aunt. My mom. Myself. And it was in this area over here. Where the craft crashed. The Coast Guard had their boats in this waterway right here. And they had black tarps over in that area that I'm walking to now. Oh man. The graffiti has just gotten out of control here. I used to get so angry seeing all this graffiti because... This is such an important spot to me. I grew up here as a child and none of this graffiti was here. They've just ruined everything. A great part of history. And normally in all the other videos I've done, I've actually came down that side, but I'm glad I didn't because they have the barricade, a bunch of dirt, all that. There's nuclear plant. This is the area where the UFO crashed. And it seems like they're doing more shit down here. And I see them digging, and anytime they're digging, I'm like, I wonder if there's a part of UFO crash debris in that dirt pile. I'm just seeing this for the first time. A lot of cardinals here. I like cardinals. Oh man, they got a little path right there. I've never seen this before. I've never been able to see all this area. But to give you an idea, this is where the UFO crash happened. Right here. My house was over that tree line. They had black tarps all on this area here. And you can see by what it is, how hard it must have been to retrieve everything. And it's pouring down rain right now. It's raining. Which is great because... This is how it was, except this happened at 10, like around 10, 18 p.m. at night. So imagine this at nighttime, the height of the cloud coverage. The craft was underneath of the clouds, obviously. My family that lived right over there on the other side, we saw the craft up here about on a 45 underneath, obviously. But as you see the tree line, to us, it looked like the craft was directly over the tree line because of the angle we were seeing it. And this is where it was. Right on the creek. Right near the bridge. Not far from the nuclear plant. And with April 21st coming up soon, that's the anniversary of my family's UFO crash which brought out the men in black and government agencies. And then the shills and pawns they use, such as MUFON and the news media, KYW3 Channel News, Unsolved Mysteries, the show sightings. They're all working for these agencies, which threaten my mother to report this as a helicopter crash which it was not no evidence was found of a helicopter crash nor were any helicopters or any other aircraft reported missing 
That's the narrative that the men in black told MUFON to play and told the news agencies to play and every other person calling my aunt that lived next door from Hollywood. This is how they operate. They control the narrative. Nuclear plant. This is the Lower Alloways Creek incident right here. I just love it. The clouds right there. This general area is where the triangle was seen. My family lived over that tree line that you see over there. The craft was right here. The Coast Guard cutter boat was right there. They had black tarps all over that area. And as the firefighters were coming up this road, they saw the tarps and all that right there. So, I ironically, I've, I've been doing Instacart because I'm broke and YouTube doesn't help at all and none of my videos are being watched and uh, I'm being censored, obviously, by Google and the Aero offices and all that. So, um, I've been doing Instacart and I just so happened to have a job that I delivered that was on New Bridge Road. This is called New Bridge Road in uh, Salem, New Jersey, okay? And the house I delivered to was right down this road. And I said, yeah, let me go here and make a fun little video for everyone to watch. With April 21st coming up, you know, I've been X'd out. By all of the the storytellers in this community. Everyone that has absolutely no evidence to back their claims. They're the ones that have attacked me. I've been accused of being CIA, FBI, etc., etc. Even going to other events. And I'm over it. I honestly don't care that a UFO... Uh, the Peterson, uh, the guy in the report that reported hearing the sound of the crash, but he didn't see anything. That's his house right there. You see how the trees are around his house. Uh, his name was George. You can read it in the, the police reports and all that. In the evidence I provide with this video. That's where he lived. He heard it, but he couldn't see anything, obviously, because you see the house and all the trees versus my family living on the other side of those trees over there and having a good 45 degree angle to see the thing go down right about there. But unfortunately, he was barricaded with trees. It's a dark night. Uh, at one point, there was a single light. You see that little thing on top of the bridge? That was a light. But as you can see, there are no street lights. Either way you look, there are no street lights. That was the only light in the area. And the only power was going from here up to there. No street light. Running to the bridge to have a little night light on the actual bridge. So every other place was absolutely dark. This is where I grew up as a kid. This was my entire childhood. I didn't have a lot of human beings to play with. So I became friends with animals. And I said screw human beings because they're dumb. And I don't understand them. And why they care about the things they care about. I'm going to have to edit out that one part I just saw down there. People writing ridiculous shit on there. Bunch of racists. But yep, this is it. So I'm going to head back. April 21st, 1991 at 10.18pm is when uh, the Lower Alloways Creek went down. This is it. Graffiti has absolutely destroyed it. And people putting racist shit all over it. Pisses me off. It's super ignorant. And uh, really hurts my feelings. Because this was my safe place as a kid. So this is it. It's raining. I'm getting wet. I'm going to be out.
actual UFO crash. Check out all the links in the description. Keep in mind that MUFON was being spoon-fed information from the men in black that threatened my family of what we really saw and what really happened. Don't fall for it. But I got a long walk back. Yep. See y'all later.